shoot it in the head. Oh my god. Oh. The two newest factions in WWE, Evolution and the Hurt Business, look to make their mark by Damn. capturing gold, but ultimately, the champions' experience teaming together prevailed. Not the outcome the Hurt Business and Evolution were looking for, but I'm sure this is not the last we've seen from them by a long shot. Clearly, that wasn't how we wanted that match to go, but now we need to focus on what's next. How are we going to regroup? Here's the thing. I had a lot of time to reflect on the failures of the original Hurt Business. And one of my key takeaways is that I wasn't hands-on enough. So that's gonna change now. What are you getting at? I thought I was the CEO. You are! And that's exactly why I don't need you focusing on the tag championships. The lock should be concerned with singles matches. That's more important for where you're headed. So me and Gabe will worry about going after the tag titles. Bruh. This feels like an overreaction. It was one match, and you're already having doubts about me? And besides, Gabe lost too. We did both lose. Let's get this straight. I have no doubts about either of you. Zero. This is just about getting our priorities in alignment with our future goals. I get that, but I still want another chance. Let me prove to you that I can handle going after singles and tag championships. Again, you've got nothing to prove. Just hear me out. I'll beat the Street Profits next week all by myself. Who knows? Could even earn us a tag title rematch. Okay. Let's see what happens.
It's the superstar who's a lock to be on top of WWE for years to come. The following contest is a handicap match. Making his way to the ring from Poland, weighing in at 420 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, El Wapo El Jefe Hulk Hogan. After an exhilarating WWE debut, The Lock is looking to build on his early momentum. The Intercontinental Champion will also be looking to lock up his reputation as a winner here tonight. Lock yourself to your seats. It's time for this man to go to work. Time to party with the Prophets. And his opponents at a combined weight of 492 pounds, the Raw Tag Team Champions, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, <laughs> the Street Profits! Triple Crown Tag Team Champions, NXT Raw and SmackDown! You know what that means, Michael. It doesn't matter what the brand is, the Street Profits always bring the smoke. The Intercontinental Champion may have recently lost his chance to rack up another title, but he's back tonight to take another crack at the Street Profits. The lock seems to have lost more than that. His mind, maybe? A, a terrible bit? Man, do I hate to agree with Corey, but... Up on the top rope! As it is part of town for these two competitors. This could go south in a hurry. Here we go! Superplex! And you have to think the effects of that maneuver are going to linger. Into the corner. This can't be good. Spear! That was vicious. Oh, smashing the top. Nice striking combination. And Dawkins is really being knocked around here. Yeah, Dawkins needs to find a way to right the ship here. Dawkins with the reversal. Dawkins is pushing back now. Angelo weathered the sword and wants to create a flurry of his own. Nice takedown. Some of his win now. And that the mark. There's the tag. Boom, what impact. Oh. oh, and back to the elbow. And he sends him into the corner. Looking vulnerable on that top turn. Uh-oh. This is not going to be nice. This is going to be nasty. It's all about winning, no matter what it takes. Superplex. The agonizing impact 
That may well be a turning point in this match. Oh, what's happening here? Submission move being applied. Face lock applied. You know this means trouble. Off into the pin. Not yet. Carefully stalking their opponent. The upper hand now belongs to Locke. Yeah, Locke is proving hard to keep up with. Fuck you, Dawkins. Let's go. Here is your winner. El Wapo, El Hefe, Hogan. Yeah, I'm so I I'm so I see champion. Oh, not really sure. Kinda back and forth. So, what do you think? Can I handle going after singles and tag championships? Man, you just confirmed everything I thought about you. The lock is the real deal. But here's the thing. I'm sticking with the original plan. Gabe and I, we're gonna take the tag title rematch. But I got us the rematch by beating the Street Profits. By myself. Bruh. And I appreciate that. I really do. You're out there like a boss, doing CEO things, and I love it. But let's stick to the plan. You're a singles guy, remember? And this way, we'll all have championships. It's a win-win. Gabe, you've been quiet. Don't you think it should be me and you going after the tag titles? I actually think MVP's right. It makes more sense for us to pursue the tag titles while you focus on your singles run. Exactly. And for the Hurt Business to achieve greatness, we all need to be on the same page. Not that we aren't. Fine. Understood. I'll trust the process. We're good here. And don't overthink any of this. Because at the end of the day, it's just business. It's just business.
So how did it feel to watch from the sidelines as your Hurt Business teammates captured the Raw Tag Team Championships? Bruh. Honestly, not great. I earned the opportunity to be out there, but it didn't work out that way. But I'm happy they won and we're all champions now. You don't sound too happy. What are you getting at? It seems like you've taken a back seat to MVP, but you're supposed to be the CEO, right? MVP's got a plan, but he runs everything by me first. And it's working. But we've seen this before with MVP and the previous Hurt business. Is there trouble already? You know what? I think I've said all I want to say. Bro, I got a proposition for you. Want to trade titles? My 24-7 title <laughs> that I just won off of our truth for your Intercontinental title? Dude. Riddle, Riddle just offered to trade me the 24-7 championship for the Intercontinental championship. It won't. It won't. It won't let me. It says not how it works or no, but I'll give you a title shot. They should give you an option for it. I'd still choose it. I would straight up. I would straight up. I would straight up trade. Since I can't trade it, fuck you. You're not getting the title shot, bro. A trade? I haven't been here very long, but I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. Oh, come on, bro. You gotta learn to think outside the box. Like, so far out that the box never even existed. Kind of like your IC title shot. Oh. See you around. What's up, Gabe? Otis and I are looking to add a new teaching assistant to the Alpha Academy. And you seem like you're struggling where you're at. How about a fresh new role with a hot new group? <clears throat> yeah. I'm gonna shoosh you right there because I graduated school a long time ago. I do the shushing around here, funny man. Shoosh. Shush. What's the manius? What are you doing here? I'm here as a representative of the New Day, the longest tenured faction in WWE. Kind of like welcoming a new neighbor who's just moved in. It's become our custom to welcome all new factions to WWE. There's even a gift basket coming for you and your Hurt Business friends. Full disclosure, Retribution broke up before we could give them theirs, so we repurposed some items. Be sure to check the expiration date on those summer sausages. Thanks, I guess. I'll let the other guys know you stopped by. If you ever need any tips on how to stick together as long as the New Day has, just let me know. Faction longevity and continuity not only equal success in the ring, but also outside. Have you thought about branding opportunities? We've mainly been focused on in-ring success. You know. Winning championships. Think bigger. Hurt business branded suits, collared shirts, uh, pleated pants, um, shiny shoes. Okay, 
maybe your faction doesn't lend itself as well to merchandising, but maybe it's something as simple as being on the cover of the WWE 2K video game. New Day has that honor this year, but if you play your cards right, that could be the hurt business for the next game. Why is New Day on the cover of the game? The Hurt Business has the Raw Tag Team Championships, and I'm Intercontinental Champion. You have... nothing. New Day is a proven commodity! We've held Tag Team Gold over ten times, and we'll get those back soon enough. Maybe I'll even take your Intercontinental Championship, too. Would be a nice moment to feature in the game's New Day Showcase mode. Thanks for all the advice, but we're handling everything just fine on our own. Okay, well, I tried. Don't come crying to me in six months when your faction breaks up. T-Bar and Mace did that, and it was super awkward. thinking about our last conversation and it left kind of like everything in that see that's what I'm talking what is that I don't think so now if you thought that was rude you have no idea what we're capable of the hell Again with the threats. I don't know why I try with you. Shit. Oh shit, fuck you. Oh shit. Us, huh? These are our titles. This isn't a game. Yeah. This group is built on trust, a brotherhood, open communication. So you want to explain what the hell that was all about? I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna blame New Day. New Day threatened us, so I didn't really have a choice. He did. I had to show them what the hurt business is all about. You did. That's not how this works. You might be the lock and the CEO, but we are a team, a family who makes decisions together. Wait a family. Slade, you're not off the hook either. You went along with his short-sighted plan. No, you're right. I know I'm right. Come on, have a mind of your own for once. Stop being a follower. Let's be real. It's what's held you back your entire career. Understood. All right, enough about that. Let's learn from it and move on. 
Now we need to focus on these singles matches before this situation gets any worse. It will be me against Kofi. Gabe, you've got Big E. And Locke, you're up against Xavier Woods. <laughs> Make sure you take care of business. I will. It's the future of With a path to the Raw Tag Team titles hanging in the balance, the New Day's Xavier Woods will be giving the Intercontinental Champion everything he's got tonight. And it still might not be enough. Woods will need Kofi or Big E to win one of their matches to earn the New Day a Tag Team title match. Is it me, or does the Locks seem to be in the thick of the action every week? wonder if it'll eventually take a toll on the rookie superstar. Dodges. Kick to the midsection. Sunset flip. Referee in position. Still too fresh to stay down. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Oh no, not possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. Will this match end on a submission on a tap out? In this much, and watch this. Letting him free? Had him where he wanted him, but maybe he has something better planned. of his guts to kick out right there. I've lost count of how many times this match should have ended by now. He moved. Can he capitalize? Oh, 
Oh, strong knee connects. Momentum on the side of the lock. This is where Woods will be tested. That was fucking lit. That was dope. Let's go. Let's fucking go. That is insane. And he tosses it back in now. <laughs> Don't mind me. And that'll about do it, folks. Here is your winner, El Wapo, El Hefe, Hulk Hogan. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I. Damn it! I had that match won. Well, at least I took care of business. Congratulations! You did your part in trying to get us out of a situation that you got us into to begin with. All because of some jealousy over a video game? We care about championships in the Hurt Business. And besides, I told you to focus on singles matches. Get your priorities straight. This may have been a bump in the road, but I know what the <laughs> is. None of this changes that. Okay. Well, you're going to get the chance to back up your talk. I got word that it's going to be all three of us defending the championships against the New Day in a six-man tag. Fun. I love six-man tags. I never intended for any of this to turn out this way, but I promise we will walk away with our titles. Bruh.
The following is a six-man tag team match and is for the Raw Tag Team Championship. Introducing the champions at a combined weight of 899 pounds. They are the Raw Tag Team Champions, the Hurt Business. These teams have brought the house down before and may do it again tonight for the right to be recognized as Raw Tag Team Champions. Tag matches like this one are why Monday Night Raw has been a top-rated show for over 25 years. Don't you dare be sour! Clap for the greatest thing going and feel the power! <laughs> Michael Corey, time to hop aboard the positivity bus because the new day is here! I hope your positivity bus drives right into a bridge embankment. And introducing the challengers at a combined weight. 702 pounds. Kofi Kingston, Xavier Woods, and Big E, the New Day. Three very successful competitors, but even better as a group. Kofi Kingston, a world champion. Big E won Money in the Bank and the WWE title. And let's not forget King Woods. <coughs> and Corey, all <coughs> success is a testament to the power of positivity. One of these teams is going to have to work in unison from bell to bell if they want those tag team titles. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to watch two of the premier teams in WWE face off for the Raw Tag Team titles. It's the Hurt Business versus the New Day. The Intercontinental Champ may have held his own against Xavier Woods, but the New Day is coming into this six man tag team title match with all the momentum. There are rumors of friction in the Hurt Business. We'll see if that affects the outcome here tonight. <laughs> And just like that, he said, crashing to the floor. All in. Getting set up for something in the corner. Oh, man. Shot right to the midsection. Discouraging results for Kofi. And Kofi needs to stay positive. And did you hear the impact of that? Knees up. Knees were up. All the breath taken out of their body with that counter. Taken down by the neck. There's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Oh, big back body drive. The challenger's looking shaken. By the throat into the top rope. Ooh.
There's a tag. What are we going to see here? Double team effort. Oh. Flying shoulder block. The champion into the cover. He stops the count for his partner. Now a pen for the championship. The challenger fending off the two count. Shows that this is still anybody's match at this point. Reversal from MVP. On the shoulders and a slam. And suplex. Very nice. And he saw Kofi coming. just winning this was about making a statement putting everyone in the division on notice and that statement was they're here to win saxton You got some nerve showing up in our locker room. Not exactly. See, Evolution and the Hurt Business don't really have an issue. Until now. What it comes down to is you chose the wrong side. And now that decision is gonna cost you your Intercontinental Championship. Really? Who's going to take it from me? You? I 
I could. But I've chosen to let Damien Priest do the honors. I'm not scared of Priest. Name the time and place, and I'll be there. Let's get to know each other a little bit. What I'm thinking is first, you have a non-title match against Theory. It'll give us a chance to pick apart all your weaknesses before the title match. I know you've been around a long time, but you can't just walk in here and make those kinds of demands for you and your groupies. Tell Priest to get in line. You can only delay the inevitable for so long. Evolution is coming for everything you've got. You change your mind about my proposal? Face theory in a non-title match. Then you get Damien Priest. Nothing's changed on my end. Move along. Whenever we do cross paths again, you are going to wish you hadn't said that. In the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. I'm saying answer, I need to dance, I